I know that so, so many Australians just don't vote. The two party system has completely disillusioned you. What's the point? You know, do we really have an option? You know, they're both same, same, you know, two halves of the same thing. They both lie to you. They both break their promises and they both keep taking from you while they promise to give back to you. So what's the point in voting balance? We, we are at a point in our history where things are gonna change in Australia forever. And you will either be able to tell your grandchildren, right, that you voted to keep Australia free for them, or you said nothing and you allowed the people that wanna bring in the mandates I want to speak to the people out there, if you're one of these people who doesn't vote, who either refuses to vote or folds up your piece of paper, puts it in the box without writing anything on it, or does a donkey vote and doesn't number all the boxes. Because this is the moment in history where you can't afford to do that. Everything is changing around us so rapidly. They are taking away your freedoms and you need to tell them no. And my promise to you is that I will stand up for you at this crazy time where the government is taking away your power. When New Zealand yesterday announced that people will be going into quarantine camps, you know, we've seen other times like this in history. We've seen people in history, before the Second World War in Germany, in Pol Pot's um, killing fields where they go, come into these camps it will be good for you or oh, oh, you can't let this happen you can't let this happen to your children you can't let this happen to your grandchildren and the only way we're going to make this change is if you do not throw away your right to say no say no to them vote but don't vote for them vote for change you have to exercise your right to say no you have to exercise your right to say no to the craziness that they're trying to bring in. The fact that they're basing these decisions not on science. We have so many doctors and nurses saying these are not scientific decisions, you know. And, and yet here they are basing these mandates on media fear and panic that they think are going to get them re-elected. Hey, Scott Morrison says, I'm going to buy 84 million vaccines at $1.4 billion so every Australian can have a vaccine that has failed stage two testing, that has failed animal testing and has seriously injured the people in the trials. And yet he wants to flood Australia with that because he thinks he's going to get him re-elected. We need to say no. We need to say no right now. We need to say no to the lockdowns because we've always had COVIDs. COVIDs are the common cold. You look it up in a medical dictionary. COVID, common cold. Yes, it is the most virulent thing that spreads around the planet. Human beings and the common cold have existed since the beginning of time together, right? And unfortunately, the weak and the sick do succumb to it, right? And do die and we can do things to protect them, but we are never ever going to eliminate the common cold, which is COVID, away from humanity. COVID is not going away, right? No matter what we do, we've always had it. We've always had different strains of it, right? This is no, you, common cold is the most virulent thing. It's coexisted with humanity for millennia. It's not going away. And we're gonna wreck our economy and still have COVID. We're gonna wreck our lives and take away our freedoms and still have COVID. There are other ways to deal with this. There are other ways to deal with this. Listen to our science, not the media narrative, not the panic, not the fear, not the two big parties that just wanna get themselves reelected. Don't waste your vote, use it. Use it to say no, but you can only do this if you use your right to vote. Don't throw away your vote number every box do it properly otherwise you've thrown it away you've got to show the magic of just saying no this is the best way to fight what they're trying to bring COVID. if we had done what the epidemiologists had said and had completely stayed at home locked down if they'd given us 
24 hours notice to go out and get food and stay home for 15 days. This would have been done in two weeks. In two weeks. 15 days. Not 10 months. Do you want to identify with your captors? Are you going to allow our government in Australia to be your captor? Right? To not allow you to have a say. To not follow the science. The scientists, the doctors, the nurses are out there going, this is craziness. This is not what we want to do. Right? This is not following the science. In increasing numbers, they are speaking out on social media because ordinary media won't give them a, a hearing. This is not good for you. You need choice. You need to vote. And the only way you're going to get your vote, your choice is if you actually use that vote that you haven't used before. Do not fold up your ballot paper. Do not just fold it up and put it in the box. Do not give the power back to the two-party system. Right? What we need to do is take it away from them by using that vote. By you going in and going, this is my voice. I say no. There is a power to say no. There is such a power to saying no, right? And if it's a magical thing, and if everybody in Australia just said, instead of going, ah, oh, she'll be right, mate, if they, because it won't be, it won't be right. It's not going to be right unless you stand up and say no. All of those people who went to war in, in two world wars that went overseas, all of the Australians who have died, all of our armed forces who have died so that we have a free country where we have freedom of speech and freedom of choice, all died for nothing. If you fold up that piece of paper without putting anything on it. You need to tell them no. Yes, we're responsible. Yes, we'll look after our vulnerable. But no, you can't do this. COVID will always be with us. Do we want to wreck our economy as well as have COVID? Our medical profession is saying we can deal with it this way. Right? We don't need an untested vaccine. We don't need lockdowns. We don't need to throw people into camps. And and the testing kits, right? even on the testing kits, on their instructions, it says less than 50% or oh, it's about 40, 41 or 42 percent inaccurate. Right? But our medical profession is coming out and saying that they, they're getting false positives and false te negatives with these tests. Herd immunity has kicked in. Right? We know that herd immunity has kicked in for this strain of the common cold, of this strain of COVID. Because what we are having is more and more testing where people are going, yeah, there's COVID there. And you can test positive for COVID if you've ever had any of the COVID common colds in the past. And we're getting millions and millions of people testing and yet the death rate is going down and down which means herd immunity is working we don't need a vaccine right it is working the herd immunity will eventually protect the vulnerable because you can't give somebody something if you can't get it for 20 years i have never caught a common cold i've never caught a covid because i don't get sick like that and there are many people like that tell him no tell him no they want to hurt you, right? They're stealing the future from your children, from your grandchildren. Tell them no. Tell them no, this is not what you want, right? I never ever thought I'd go into politics, but this is such a crazy time. Somebody has to stand up and say no, right? And if you use your vote to vote for this IMOP party who are standing up for you, right? You know, we just have to get that power away from the big two. Uh, we say no, right? And we will say no for you because you tell us no. I'm gonna be your voice. I'm happy to be your voice. I hear it all the time, people wanting to say no. These decisions should have gone to a refer referendum like they did in Japan and like they did in Sweden, right? Who, by the way, are firing, uh, no lockdowns and are faring much better than a lot of countries that have gone into lockdown. Um, tell them no. Do not fold up your vote and put it away. It's so important that you tell them no. This is Shada Monford.
Coomera, candidate for the Informed Medical Options Party, standing for you and your right to say no. Written and authorised by Shader Monford, one Shawnee Crescent Willowvale for the Informed Medical Options Party.